As you came in this morning, most of you should have found on your chair a flyer setting out some of the headline features of that vision. As we map out the journey of the next 10 years, it's important not to overlook, I think, just how far we have travelled to date. We have successfully extended the school's upper age range to 18. We have successfully developed an extensive sixth form provision and established ourselves as an increasingly strong feature of the North East's educational landscape. Much of this has been done in a challenging and competitive marketplace that has seen seven independent schools in the North East close, merge and or change their status in the past seven years. It is our ambition to continue to grow our school. A rising demand for places at the senior school has already allowed us to extend some year groups to three classes whilst maintaining the attraction of small class sizes. In the next 10 years, we are seeking to grow the school from its current 400 boys to around 600 with a sixth form of 100. In doing so, we will preserve the school's distinctive family atmosphere and nurturing and supportive environment. What about girls, I'm sometimes asked. Well, they're okay. I've got a couple of them at home. There was a strong desire expressed by parents completing our annual feedback questionnaire in the spring that the school continued to build links and to find opportunities that allowed boys to share activities with girls. Whilst as a school our specialism and strength is absolutely in educating and developing boys and young men, we of course recognise the importance to our boys' education and development of their integrating with girls. We will continue to develop our relationship with Westfield School to provide further opportunities for our boys to work alongside girls in academic, co-curricular and social contexts, as well as hopefully providing some practical benefits for parents with children in both schools. Our curriculum is being developed to exploit the opportunity afforded by a 3 to 18 school to ensure that our boys are learners who have high levels of numeracy and literacy, both traditional and digital. Learners who have the motivation and skills to work cooperatively and collaboratively with creativity and with thought. Teaching and learning excellence is at the heart of any successful school. Whilst a good education is about so much more than exam results, teaching and learning is absolutely our core business. Continue to get that right and so much else will follow for our boys and for our school. Checking back to those notes from Stuart's presentation, Lessons in Leadership, I found lesson number 18, focus on the process the score will take care of itself. The school's continued growth will need to be mirrored in its estate. Our long-term ambition is to see Newcastle School for Boys housed on a single purpose-built or designed site. Of course, this is easier to say than to achieve and will always be subject to external factors. However, significant work is already underway to ensure that we not only accommodate the school's expansion, but we also provide facilities and environment that will continue to enhance our boys' learning, achievement and development. Education always has a context. The adults in the room will all remember, fondly or otherwise, their own educations. By definition, they will have been of a different time and place. And whilst there are certain traditional principles and values that should be preserved, the education we provide for our boys must prepare them for the challenge of tomorrow's world. Developing forward-looking specialist provision that links with employers and higher education in STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths, business and entrepreneurship, media and sport will exploit some of the school's existing strengths and provide unrivaled opportunities for our boys. The school's growth and expansion raises the need and provides the opportunity for us to develop further an already broad co-curricular programme so that all boys' interests can be stimulated, their learning enriched and their personal development supported. As many would testify, pastoral care is already a strength of our school and even pastoral care has its context. I think it's fairly self-evident that our children face increasingly complex and pressured lives. 
We need to allow them, and I believe single sex schools do this very well, simply to be children and to enjoy childish things. However, sometimes as parents, and I definitely include myself here, we are tempted to seek, possibly to our children's detriment, to alleviate too much the demands placed on them by removing their need to face consequences, to be accountable and to take responsibility. Pastoral care and support in schools will always need to be responsive, but the very best schools develop their own programmes that anticipate children's needs and equip them to be able to take responsibility and to develop resilience. And the final strand of our development themes is service. Service as distinct from charity. The boys in the school community already do very good work in raising and donating funds for charitable causes. And that will continue to have an important place in the school's values and activities. However, we will also develop a programme that will allow all boys to learn more about themselves and others in the pursuit of genuine service, giving of themselves, their times and their abilities. So Stuart, I hope that four years later that goes some way to answering your question about the kind of school Newcastle School for Boys is aiming to be and gives the rest of the audience a good insight into our ambitious plans for the next 10 years.